G'day Libra, welcome back to TJ Jared and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. Let's go. Give me three cards to start with. So who's thinking about Libra right now? So this is a general reading, so take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Ooh. I've got heaps of videos in my playlist. Okay, clarify card one, please. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one thinking about Libra right now. Clarify card two, please. Woo. Clarify card three, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are... <laughs> Don't want to lose that one. Listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. Wow, the whole deck almost fell apart then. Okay. No one. Okay. Let's get the rest of them out before we start getting into the energy. Three more for the love energy coming towards Libra, please. I'd like to get the, all the cards out before I start connecting. Otherwise, I may influence the second row by what I'm reading in the first row, and I don't want to do that. I like to have the whole message out on the table before I start. Whoa! Okay, I want the bottom one, because that one landed first. Okay, let's get the clarifiers and then we can start. Three, oh, uh, clarify card one in row two please. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week and a good weekend. Wherever you are watching this and whenever you are watching this video. Clarify card two in row two, please. And I hope you're remembering to do something nice for yourself, Libra, because you deserve it. Spoil yourself with something cool, something good. Clarify card three in row two, please. Oh, I can tell I'm getting down to the last few readings because my arm's getting sore. <laughs> Oh, all right, so let's begin, Libra. Ooh, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Most likely someone from the past, but it could be someone that you just feel like you've known them before. I'm getting that feeling. It could be a past life. You just feel like you already know each other. And we've got the world card. Wow, in another world. <clears throat> another cycle. Closing out the old cycle. of the... It was a cycle that closed out. Someone from a... Could, be, could have been a past life. But the cycle closed out. Someone in the past that the cycle closed out with. I'm just going to move these down to make some room. Because I've got lots of cards. Hmm. Something that closed out. Alright. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. <clears throat> Ooh, the emperor. The high priestess. Hmm. And the strength card three. Wow, we've got four major arcana in, arcana in a row. This is a major energy. This is definitely someone with a that there's a reason they're in your life. Okay, so belief systems with love. Oh dear, controlling the situation, keeping things secret, and stroking that ego is what I'm hearing. Because of a lot of fear as well. Trying to stay in control. Keeping things secret because of the... F not feeling strong enough. Not feeling brave enough. Mm. 
trying to hide, trying to hide the fact of how strongly they feel, trying to keep self-control and trying to hide how strongly they feel. Ooh. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This is definitely someone from your past. The cycle closed out. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Wow. Page of Swords. I've been watching. And the Four of Swords. Yeah. Someone there was a commitment with here. A lot of love and commitment and stability. They've been wishing for you back, yeah, wishing to reconcile with you. They've been watching you, trying to find out all about you. Because they want to heal the connection. Wow. Wow. When it comes to love with you, the, yeah, the feelings are really strong. They're wanting that connect commitment again, the love and stability here. That's their wish. They've been watching you and wanting to heal this. Wow. Okay. Appreciation. Yeah, I think now they appreciate you. Maybe they didn't appreciate you in the past. I don't know. Ooh, nine of cups again. Seven of Wands, okay. Ooh. I don't read reversals, it, by the way. Eight of Cups. The Emperor again. And the Empress. Wow, them two together. <gasps> wow, that's big. That's a big soulmate connection right there. Mm. So, they have a lot of appreciation for you now. You are what they've always wished for. <clears throat> I know Seven of Wands is standing up for yourself and fighting for what you believe in, but this looks more like conflict to me. Um... Yeah. <clears throat> well, all the f yeah, I think they're more emotionally stable now. They don't need to defend themselves and fight to be heard and all that. They've walked away from that. It's, they found no emotional fulfillment in that. They found emotional fulfillment in appreciation. Feeling more stable and strong and in control of themselves and wanting to grow something with you, Emperor and Empress, you having your own little empire of abundance together. This is beautiful because the Emperor and the Empress are the, all the kings and all the queens in one or in two, all the queens and all the kings. So, wow. I think they've found self-appreciation now. Yeah. Because I think before they felt they had to control the situation, keep things secret, because there was a fear that they weren't strong enough. But I feel now, like that's why it was read that way, that they are in control. But then now they've just got have been keeping it secret of how strongly they feel about you. Hmm. Ooh, adjacent possibilities. Interesting. Oh, beautiful. Two of cups. Wow. And the fool. Well, they're looking at adjacent possibilities. Could this be beautiful love between you two? Or are they just fooling themselves? That's the... Yeah... Are they just fooling themselves? Are they just going to fall off this cliff? <laughs> or is there beautiful love still between you two? Wow. 
Well, that's the two possibilities, isn't it? And I feel they want to appreciate you now and treat you like the Emperor or the Empress, whichever one you are, or both. Yeah. Okay. Woman holding a coin. Wow. This is basically the Queen of Pentacles, which we see up here. Love being the water energy and the stability, commitment. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. The feminine energy. We all have masculine and feminine energy. I'm not being sexist or anything like that. So, yes. You should know me by now. I don't... Yeah. I read for everybody. <clears throat> so, this represents love, stability, commitment. Six of Pentacles. Balance, give and take. And the Five of Cups, yeah. Well, that's sort of basically like what's the adjacent possibilities here. So, yeah, they want this love and stability commitment with you. Will you feel the same way? Will this be balance, give and take? Will you feel the same way? Or are they just setting themselves up for disappointment? Are they being the fool? Yeah, because if you don't want that commitment, a balanced connection with them, they're going to be really disappointed, but... It's an interesting card, this one. It's all these... It's called the Mythic Tarot. It'll be listed below anyway. But this is a story of... It's the cup story, of course. Um... The woman who falls in love with an angel. But he tells her he'll come and see her. But if, he, if she sees his face. She's not allowed to look at his face for some reason. But of course she can't resist. And she lights the candle. And so he runs away. And all these four cups are spilled now. Because he don't, doesn't feel he can trust her now. That's the disappointment here. But she just wanted to... Yeah. But anyway, it's... I don't know why I told that part of the story, but I felt I had to say it. it might relate to somebody. But yeah, this is where the disappointment comes because he's running away because she lit the candle. Uh Disappointment. Yeah. Hoping there can be a balanced connection and that they don't disappoint you as well. Or well, hoping that they, there can be a commitment if you can balance out that disappointment from the past. Whatever it is they need to heal. All right, let's find out what they want to say. Ooh, Libra, they think you are beautiful. Oof, you are, but <laughs> yeah, they say you're beautiful. What does this energy want to say to Libra, please? Okay. We have, I'm not ready to be with you yet, and I'm hearing a strong yet. Not yet. Soon. Not yet. They're thinking about you a lot. But they're not ready to approach just yet. You broke my heart. Oh, Yeah, they were pretty heartbroken about the breakup. Okay, I think you were both very heartbroken about the breakup. I'm not sure what happened here, but I'm not feeling like they were, you know, a dirtbag or anything like that, or, you know, a player or nothing like that. I'm not feeling that sort of energy. I don't know why you broke up, but 
Yeah, it wasn't because they were an a-hole or anything like that. Okay, and can we talk? Yeah, okay. So they want to talk about reconciling and healing. Yeah, well, reconciling your differences, healing the past, and they're looking for to be in a commitment with you again. Showing you the appreciation of Emperor Empress Love. Wow. But they're not quite ready yet. Not quite yet. But I'm hearing soon, but not yet. They're preparing still. Alright, well that's your reading, Libra. Hmm. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice co comment below, that would be awesome. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Okay, well all the best. Take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.